Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn about status changes in form group. In the previous episode we learned about value changes in the form group. So today we will learn how to capture status for an individual form control element or the entire form. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I, am, I have a passion to share my knowledge with you and also to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer them and help you. Thank you so much. I'm putting in an Angular 9 full tutorial playlist where you will have tutorials from basic to advanced. We have over 50 plus tutorials now there. Kindly check it out. The link is in the description box below. And if you have any questions again, please feel free to ask me and I would be happy to help you. We are, we are learning about Angular forms in past few episodes and we have covered basics of forms. We have seen about template driven forms, reactive forms, how to configure form group to get values, set values, reset them. In the previous episode, we learned about value changes. Today, we are going to learn about status changes. So status changes is yet another important property of form control, form group and form array. We know that Angular will track the entire form status by its own, but even we can capture that and process it based on our application requirements. For example, if you want to capture if some form field is invalid. Or for example, when you submit a form, you want to check if the form is valid or not. So these are some of the use cases where status changes is very, very useful and helpful. Just like value changes, status changes also returns an observable, which means we need to subscribe to the observable to read the value. I'm going to cover about observable and subscribe in the coming episodes. So stay tuned for that also. Status changes is a property in abstract control class and status change will emit an event every time there is a change in the validation status of the controls. Let's learn it in practical so we know how to use it. So now there are two approaches to this. We can use status changes just like value changes. We can either use it for form controls or we can use it for the entire form in one go. Let's see with some hands-on examples on both approaches. First, we will learn how to do the form control using individual element and then we will try and capture the status of the entire form right so let's go ahead and go to our application all right so we have our application let's see this is our application so far we have the reactive form when we enter a value we capture it and then we have the validation we have the form submit enable or disable right so far so good now let's go to our code and now what we are trying to do is capture the form validation right so for that what we'll do let's create some comments here learning learning to use status changes on form control right so so first thing i told you it will return an observable right so what we will do is let's get the form first and we will process it accordingly. So we'll say this dot checkout form is our form name, the same name that we have given it here. If you see, this is our form name, checkout form, the same name I'm giving it here. This dot checkout form dot. Now this is the important step, right? So here you're trying to get the name of the um, element, right? So which element you want to track? That's the thing. So if you go, to control you have the element name as email address basically the whatever form control name you have given copy that whichever field you want to add validation on and then you will write dot get that element then you will say dot status changes right and i told you this will always return you a subscribe observable right so it will we have to subscribe to it so now we will use arrow operator so now we'll say console.log data, right? So now let's see this in action. So you should see the message in your console, right? So let's clean this. So we have it here. 
Now I'm going to enter a wrong value first. So I'm going to enter. So you see this says it's giving invalid, right? Because it is not valid, right? So, but you enter something like a valid one. Now it says it is, now see here, it gives invalid. Let me clear it for you. On key up, it will give us the value. So now it says it is valid. But now when I don't enter, it says it is invalid, right? So this is one of the beauty of individually capturing the form controls status. So now I know that there is a status change and it is invalid. So I can enable or disable certain elements in the page. Uh, I can add or remove some of the elements in the page based on these conditions. Similarly, you can do it for other fields. Let's say checkbox or whatever it is, right? Um, if it's required true, required false, for radio button, checkbox, we can use for any element. Just give the form control name here and capture the status change. It will it will give the value output whenever there is a change in the validation status of that particular form control. Now, similarly, on the same lines, uh, we can, I'll use the same form name and I'll say, now I'm applying the changes to the entire form. Now here, the difference you see, I'm giving a form field here, form control name. Here I'm not giving, which means I'm trying to track the entire form itself. This is a very well name to subscribe, so you can give any name that you want. So here I will say form, so right? So this is a form value. So I'll just say form state. So this will give me the validation of the form now, right? So let's see that in action. So now you see, I will let me refresh it here. And here I'm saying arc, it says the form is invalid, right? Now, just to show you that this is working, I'll just comment this off. So this way we can, now we will see. All right, so now when you see, it says invalid, right? It is still invalid because we have not yet entered a correct one. So here I'm going to say um, quantity five, right? It is still invalid because we have not checked on the checkbox. Now we check, now it says it's valid. Uncheck, it says it is invalid, right? So dynamically we are able to capture, dynamically we can capture the state of valid of the form of the entire form that's the keyword entire form right here we are changing on a single on a single form control so this is very important especially when you are trying to uh, disable submit button disable submit button right or something like that logic which says if the form is invalid don't do this or don't show or show a message uh, those things are very, very handy when you especially go with this respect to this. So this was about using status change. Um, so I hope you followed it. Uh, if there are any questions, any doubts, please do let me know. Uh, the next tutorial is extremely important. I cannot stress enough. Uh, in mo modern applications, right, you will have to add elements and remove elements. If you look at this screen, the elements are fixed. They are static which means there will always be three elements on the screen. But using form array, we can have unlimited number of items or controls added and removed at runtime. And that is the beauty of form array. We are going to learn soon about it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure you don't miss out on that. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, starting 1st of July, I will be bringing a live coding series of an application. I'll share the details soon with you. Make sure you are staying, uh, make sure you have got the channel subscribed so you don't miss out on the live projects. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, before I forget, um, just one more thing I want to tell you, which is in the form array, um, we'll be having multiple sections, though I said we will be covering about checkbox and radio but we'll need some more details on it in terms of a live project. So I'll be doing, sharing that also with you. So make sure you check that out. Thank you. Thank you so much.